It's your boy Black Lining forty five forty seven with Safe Man forty two oh two. Today's been a fat minute since you guys seen the five U D in action. This is bedroom system test four. Let's get it. Now, let's go ahead and go over the devices, shall we? As you can see, the system right in front of you is all normal. Nothing really has changed within it. Okay. Boom, boom. Now, let's go up. Got my simplex true alarm. Got my simplex uh, 499-9797 local T-bar. For notification plans today, we have my Wheelock RSS, RSSP and my Amsico MSB8BPV4. Um, it's been a while since you guys actually see the Amsico bell in action. Um, you saw the Wheelock bells and the Edwards bell, but um, you haven't really seen the, Ed, um, the Amsico since the 5 d was the main system. So, yeah, it's been a fat minute. So, it's been years since you guys seen it. And it's also been a fat minute since you guys seen this strobe plate. Yes, I've been having this strobe plate. It's a fixed 75 Candela strobe plate. So, yeah, without further ado, which one you want me to activate first, David? Go ahead and do the full thing. All right, here we go. Code three. Real Canadian vibes right now. You already know. Let's go ahead and reset the full. And by the way, I reduce the pre-alarm uh, to three seconds now instead of five seconds. Um, as you can see. Oh, my fault. I said 499. It's a 299.9797. But, yeah. And I also got the trim plate. So, yep. Uh, let's go ahead and do the true alarm detector. Actually, all right, so first let me throw it on Mars time first. This is the system's on Mars time. Now, this is going to sound a little bit odd since it's a motor bell, but um, since you know the motor doesn't actually go, go, go to a complete stop um, after you know every pulse, it kind of just coasts to you know a stop. So, since it does that, it's going to sound a little bit weird. It's not like a vibrating where it just stops when there's no power applied, but. Yeah, you guys can probably already tell when I did it in code three, but now let's go ahead and test the detector. Oh, I think this is on verification if I'm not mistaken. That'll do it. Yeah, yeah, it is. So we'll see if I gotta spray it some more. I don't think so though. I might. Nope. Here we go. Any moment? I'll be right back, Dylan. Are you up? There she goes. Yep, and that's what I'm talking about. Um, two wire. Um, I um, pre
Please excuse it being crooked. This back box is actually very loose and it's very poorly mounted. Um, like I said, I'm just using the holes that were already were existing. Um, when I put this system back on this wall, as you guys remember, if you guys were the OG subscribers, um, this is actually where the 5D originated from. Um, on this wall. Ooh. Hold on, let me. Yeah, so you remember like three years ago, this is actually where the 5D was placed first. Um, so yeah, the holes were still were there uh, when I took all this down and put it on the main system and on the mini system. But um, yeah, but um, I probably just need to reinforce it. I mean, most of these back boxes are kind of jiggly, but um, especially this one. But since this bell is actually not that heavy, um, it's equivalent to my Wheelock MBS bell. Um, so yes, it's it's not heavy, so it shouldn't be a a huge deal. Um, plus, and this is also light plastic, so yeah, it's not really too heavy on that back box. So, but yeah, guys, that was bedrooms um test system test four. I'm black landing in. I'm safe man forty two oh two. And we out this John.